Peace and blessings, everyone. It's your boy Tres Vici, and I'm back with a mixtape update. Holla at your boy. So today I'm going to talk a little bit about the project. I'm just going to get a little bit more in depth with uh, the amount of tracks I got on there, the songs that are on there, the producers that's on the mixtape, um, and the features as well. Let's get into it, man. First track on the mixtape is called Never Known, produced by Imani. The track is pretty much the tempo of my life. What the track Never Know basically speaks about my mindset as a loner, you know, the last four years of what I've been going through. It also speaks on the experiences of me going away, being incarcerated, and the emotional roller coaster that I was dealing with mentally the whole time um, I was away. I think Imani was able to capitalize on a lot of the feelings and a lot of uh, misunderstanding that I was having mentally at those given times. So I think that's one of my most honest tracks, a little vulnerable if you ask me, so you kind of get a new perspective of me. But um, I still give you that that AB3 Tres Vici bravado nonetheless. The second track on the mixtape is called Memories, produced by Uptown's very own D.I.W.Z. Um, it's a very special track on the mixtape. It's so many ways to attack this beat. It's so many things. and situations you can speak about on this beat the name of the beat is called memories it's an amazing track i'm not gonna lie this body the shit out that beat it is, the sample was amazing like the way he caught the drums on it from the very beginning is really no hook on the record but i feel as if without the hook it's perfect because it gives you time to like really marinate on the thought like it's like you fully express yourself you start blacking and then it's like you, the hook comes where there's no hook Let's call it the break of the beat. And you just like, ah. You know, it's that refreshing moment where you could just sit back and like, ah, I let that go. So that's really one of those good tracks that I least expected um, to me to feel so strongly about, but I'm glad it's on the mixtape. The third track on the mixtape comes from my motherfucking guy from the Shaolin. My bro, coolest figures. He did the damn thing on Bully, I'm not gonna lie. Real traditional hip hop beat. It gave me the ability, cause it was a lot of space nonetheless, to really flex on the beat. Uh, you know, give you a lot of bar play, lyricism with Keith on this record. Listen to Bully, let me know what you think. Holla at my boy Coolest Figures, he got a lot of heat, man. He got heat. I'm waiting for you to drop some more heat, bro. And then we got some more projects on the way too. Shout out to my boy Felix. He's also working with Coolest Figures. You know, we just, multitasking, just trying to make it happen. For track four, you guys might have heard me recording it in the studio. You might have seen it on my timeline on IG. You might have seen it on my stories on IG. I don't know if this is my favorite record, but I felt like this was the one that came to me so easily. And it was like water, you know, like, it just flowed so well. Like I heard the beat and then I just like, just mumbled the hook and then just caught myself like, it's what sets the mood for the mixtape, you know, like, like it puts you at a good medium, nonetheless. Mr. Her was produced by a producer, um, B-Side, all the way out in Germany. Shout out to my people in Germany. B-Side, you know, he has a real classical hip hop sound as well, traditional. Um, that's why I more so had it followed by uh, Bully, because I wanted to fit what Coolest Figures did right after that, like um, just to create a, a, a good, calm, clean sequence nonetheless. Well, the last three tracks I put on the mixtape are my features. Uh, I wanted to finish off strong and I wanted to work with individuals that I felt uh, on, a, on a diverse tip brought out the best in me and also set the bar, like they brought the heat, you know. The track five actually, S. Dot Noon Jr., you know me, S. Dot Noon Jr., been working since the beginning. It's all over my It's a New A mixtape, the Welcome Project we did with group back in the days. Me and him has, a, to me, probably my favorite collaboration mixtape, um, Uptown Elite, 08, 07, I don't know, maybe longer than that, but we've been working, like, He's seen me develop, I've seen him develop uh, tremendously as well. Music is just phenomenal. Progress has been made. Three is in the works of progress has been made. Two, just a classic. So I know I just wanted someone that um, can really bring the heat nonetheless that can carry over 
what he would carry for his mixtape on my project, you feel me? His take on Golden Goose is what kinda inspired me to create Child of Purpose, you know? Produced by Young Fats, I'm sorry, I didn't even get to the producer on this one. Young Fats, it's all, like if you listen to the sequence, it just fits, like it's really like, it really brings you back to a time where you, you were just forced to listen. So those three tracks, Bully, uh, Missing Her, and then now, Child of Purpose, it just puts you in a, in, a, in, a, in a place of just listening, you know? The following record, also a feature. Like I told you last three tracks on the mixtapes are features. This one is with my fucking brother, Bubba Dog. If you know Bubba, you know Bubba brings a multitude of fucking characteristics on the record. His ass is working. I'm not gonna lie, he is working. Um, him and my brother, you know, they're the campaign. Um, favorite two artists you know I, it's just them two together just amazing Bubba too he's working on his project as well I told Bubba I text that man like every other week like oh when's the project coming when's the project coming because he is a beast when you listen to Bubba you won't be mad guys like if you are uh uh afrocentric or you know you just culturally uh moved by music he's one of those artists that just grabs your ear a lot so shout out to Bubba the Dawn. The producer behind that record is no other than myself. I actually took the time out to produce that record, guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, that one was something that I've been trying out for a while. Um, something new, you know, thank you guys. I was taking the time out to really like take the beat to the next level, really, take it there you know i've been practicing a lot you know uh if you go to my soundcloud you see you listen to parking lot parking lot was one of those beats that i diversely just was playing with and just trying to take it to a whole another place but uh just experimenting like you know i like and i tell people i'm trying to raise the bar creatively and but now on this tape um, on my way with me and Bubba, I just wanted to create a, a bounce. But um, why I love that record so much is because my daughter loves the record. You know, my daughter loves the the the, the background jingles. One of my favorite records, just because it's one of my favorite daughter's records. You know, and, and I, I know it's her favorite records because she's just been listening to the beat. She didn't even hear the whole words. She ain't hear nothing on it. I think it's fire. You know, I think it's fire that she already is in tune with. Uh, instrumentals and how things sound and feel uh, on my way, me and Bubba, man. Can't, I, I can't wait for y'all to really just catch that vibe. The last record, last but not least, my blood brother, another half of the campaign, Scotto. This one more so speaks, you know, we, 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 we wanted to speak to people. This one was a lot of pain and infliction that, uh, help produce this record. This record also is produced by my man, Diz. Um, shout out to Diz, he got two records on the project. Uh, I think this is a perfect record to end a project with because it just like, it sums up the feeling. You know, it takes, it takes, it takes that nugget of frustration and then just closes the door like, or just throws it out. Like, it's just like the end of the, it's the end of, um, the black cloud, if you may say, or if I may say myself, but um, you know, cause I speak about deaths and family, all, all possible deaths, a lot of trauma that I've went through, um, unlawful acts from the judge. It's really moving to the to the moment, you know. It's a really moving to the moment. I don't know if I ever had my brother on a project of mine as a feature as well, so. I think that's why I love the record as well, and I think that's why I wanted to end it all. S2B, the project, uh, coming real soon. Just wanna give you guys a quick breakdown as we get to that point. As we get to that point, I wanna like take you guys to a place where you guys can really take the time out to listen to the project fully. I feel like as a lot of artists don't fully explain what's going on with their projects. They just want you to jump on and grasp on it. You know, I'm really gonna take my time because I've been that artist, you know, I've been the artist. Here, take it, listen. Here, take it, listen. 
you know, I would like for you guys to really embrace, uh, you know, and take the time out to listen. To be the mixtape, guys, it was just a quick breakdown. A few, a few updates would we'll like for you guys to really get a full understanding of what the mixtape is really about. Um, I appreciate you guys' time. Love, peace, and blessings. Catch you guys soon. To be